El Nina and La Nina are climate patterns in the Pacific Ocean that can impact the weather worldwide. I'm Fox 5 Storm Team Meteorologist Jonathan Stacy, and I'm here to tell you how and when they impact the weather here across the southeast of the United States. El Nino means little boy in Spanish. South American fishermen first noticed periods of unusually warm water in the Pacific Ocean in the 1600s. Normally, trade winds push warm surface waters towards Asia. However, in certain years, trade winds weaken, pushing warmer water off the coast of South America. The warmer waters cause the Pacific jet stream to move south of its neutral position. With this shift, areas in the northern U.S. and Canada are drier and warmer than usual, but in the U.S. Gulf Coast and southeast, these periods are wetter than usual and have increased flooding. La Nina means little girl in Spanish and has the opposite effect of El Nino. Normally, trade winds push warm surface waters towards Asia. However, in certain years, trade winds are stronger than usual, causing cool water to surface in the eastern Pacific. These cold waters in the Pacific push the jet stream northward, and this tends to lead to drought in the southern U.S. and heavy rains and flooding in the Pacific Northwest and Canada. During a La Nina year, winter temperatures are warmer than normal in the south and cooler than normal in the north. And La Nina can oftentimes lead to a more severe hurricane season in the Atlantic Basin. 